speaking with Lisa Gwill, the Welcoming Communities Coordinator for the Cultural Centers of Lincoln. Hi, Lisa. Hi, thanks for having me. Absolutely, thanks for joining us. So as the Welcoming Communities Coordinator, Lisa is working on the Lincoln-Lancaster County Welcoming and Belonging Strategic Plan. Can you tell us a little bit about the strategic plan? For sure. Um, the Welcoming and Belonging Strategic Plan is the result of an effort of a combination of city, county, nonprofit, and private entities that really came together to ensure that Lincoln is a place of welcoming and belonging for all new Americans that are living in our community. Excellent. And can you tell us a little bit more about the immigrant and refugee population in Lincoln? Absolutely. We have over 30,000 immigrants, new Americans, that live in Lincoln and Lancaster County. And Lincoln has actually been a refugee resettlement hub since the 1980s. And in fact, in 2016, Nebraska settled more refugees per capita than any other state in the U.S. And Lincoln was recognized as the 12th largest refugee resettlement city per capita throughout the U.S. Lincoln Public Schools even reports 129 different languages spoke spoken among their students, um, and immigrants are a huge economic contributor to our community as well. So in 2019, immigrant households in Lancaster County earned over $605 million, $89 million went to pay federal taxes, and about $60 million went to state and local taxes, which leaves about $455 million in local spending power coming back into our community. That is fantastic. Do most immigrants come to Lincoln as refugees? So we do have a lot of refugees that come into Lincoln. However, over 70% of the new Americans living in our community have actually been here for five years or more. And immigrants come to Lincoln through a lot of different avenues. We have a large population of international students that come through the local universities. Some folks come to live closer to family. Others come because of economic opportunity. And some people come just because they've heard that Lincoln is a great place to raise a family. So for a lot of the same reasons that non-naturalized citizens come to Lincoln, immigrants come here as well. And can you share with us what the process is like for a refugee family coming to Lincoln? Absolutely. So when a new refugee family comes into Lincoln, they'll always be coming through one of our wonderful resettlement agencies, and that would be Catholic Social Services and Lutheran Family Services. And the folks at these agencies help folks find a place to live, first of all. And then they also help them find the necessities, furniture, clothing, anything essential that they need initially for their household to rebuild that here in Lincoln. And they also provide information on how everything works from electricity and appliances to paying bills to transportation in Lincoln and getting groceries. Now, if there are students among the new family that's arriving, LPS connects with them and they have a welcome center of their own and they get the children involved and enrolled and making sure that they have enough language support and social support in their educational environment. Employment is also a huge focus so that adults that are arriving are able to adequately provide for their families. The funding that we have through our resettlement agencies to help a new family acclimate is only about three months. And then after that, we have secondary agencies that need to step in in order to help families out. And so we have a wonderful network of agencies that work closely with Catholic Social Services and Lutheran Family Services, including the Good Neighbor Center, El Centro de las Americas, the Asian Community and Cultural Center, Lincoln Literacy, and the Center for People in Need, among others. And they pick up this work and continue to help new Americans acclimate to our city, to learn English, to begin looking at citizenship classes, to navigate systems, to connect with important resources, to find employment paths that really lean into their skills and their experience, and so much more. It's wonderful that we have so much support in our community. So what impact will the Welcoming and Belonging Plan have on both new Americans and the community at large in Lincoln? Well, we already know that new Americans contribute in a big way to our economy, and they also a lot of, add a lot of cultural value to our community, sharing stories and experiences, bringing cultural traditions and celebrations, and sharing some amazing food in our community. The richness that new Americans bring to Lincoln, it brings more value and more appeal to our community, to native-born Lincolnites, to newcomers and to visitors alike. So the welcoming and belonging plan is bringing together city and county and public and private and nonprofit resources who are already working with new Americans to ensure that these folks have access to what they need so that they can really build home here in Lincoln. Now you mentioned already that a large number of entities were involved in the welcoming and belonging plan. Uh, can you tell us who all was a part of that process? 
It has been a comprehensive list. So from the beginning, it really started with a leadership team with representatives from the Lincoln Commission on Human Rights, the Department of Human Services, Lancaster County, the City of Lincoln, Appleseed, the Asian Community and Cultural Center, and Lutheran Family Services. So these leaders came together and with the support of a steering team of over 120 individuals represented by more than 80 different agencies and organizations were involved in creating this strategic plan to focus on helping new Americans acclimate in our city. The strategic plan includes six areas of focus and they each have five recommendations that they lay out to indicate these are our priorities within this area to ensure that new Americans have the resources that they need in order to thrive. So those six areas include equitable access, civic engagement and community connections, education, economic opportunity, safe and healthy communities, and affordable and quality housing. Now Lisa, your position is new, right? It is. So my position is the Welcoming Communities Coordinator, and my job is to work with each of these six areas that the plan has identified to bring all of the 30 recommendations to fruition. Now for most communities, it takes committees about 18 to 24 months for that work to be accomplished, and there are recommendations within the plan that I am specifically responsible for, like the creation of a website that features the plan and also includes a lot of resources for the community on a practical level, bringing them together in one space. So currently, I work with people from the city and the county and nonprofit entities throughout, the, throughout our community, and I'm employed by the Cultural Centers of Lincoln, who are in the thick of this work every day. That's terrific. Now, what can our community expect to see in the upcoming year with the Welcoming and Belonging Plan? We have a lot of good things going on in 2023. So the working committees are right now coming together and they're going to be putting some data and metrics and some specific strategies behind each of the 30 recommendations so that they can really define properly what done looks like and understand how they're going to go about accomplishing each of the recommendations. In addition, we'll be launching a website that will feature a wide variety of resources for new Americans, including the MyLink app, which has been a big focus of making sure that resources are available in a way that is accessible for new Americans in our community. And in fact, the MyLink app actually serves the community at large, but it's been a wonderful asset to newcomers to Lincoln as well. We'll also have a community calendar as part of this website and stories of immigrants and refugees in Lincoln, information about how folks can get connected to the plan if a native born Lincolnite or someone wants to be involved and invested in the work that we're doing to welcome new Americans. We'll be sharing some periodic updates about the progress of the plan as well. And welcoming week is coming up in September. That's gonna be September 8th through the 17th. We're going to be kicking this off with our Lincoln Unites event and a citizenship ceremony for the first time in several years. So we're very excited about that and there will be partner events throughout the week all over the city to contribute to welcoming week and the work of welcoming new americans in lincoln that's fantastic um, now if somebody wanted to review the welcoming and belonging plan where can they find it so a copy of the plan lives on the city's website right now, and it's gonna be under the One Lincoln page. But in addition to that, within the next few months, we'll have this welcoming plan website up, and we'll be able to feature the plan there as well as additional updates along the way. And if anybody watching this wants to get involved and help with the plan, how can they get a hold of you? Well, once the website is up, we will have a contact form there, but in the meantime, I can be reached by email, and we'll make sure to put that in the links here. But my email address is lisa.guill at malonecenter.org. Thank you, Lisa. This sounds like a wonderful project. Um, thank you for speaking with us and sharing more about the plan. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to see what comes next.